deep into this spring season, flowers are blooming all over southern Arizona. Now that means bee season is also coming into high gear. Out of your sights, Pearl Shaheen is here live to share what she's learned about beekeepers' work to keep the community and the bees on track. Right, Perla? That's right. I'm standing outside where the sun is rising and I love seeing all the colors in the trees and the flowers, but so do our bees. Bees are coming out this time of year to collect pollen to later pollinate a majority of our food crops. I spoke with local beekeepers to see how they prepare for this time of year. You can't have enough of them either. You just always want more bees. Monica King is a third generation beekeeper. She says anyone who works with them falls in love with them. But the bees in southern Arizona aren't as sweet as their honey. If they attack you, they aren't just trying to drive you off. They're trying to permanently stop you. That's because Tucson, like many cities along the southern border, has Africanized honeybees. A scientist named Warwick Kerr bred these bees in the 1990s to increase honey production, and they took over most of Tucson's European colonies. They attacked our goats, um, but none of them died, and we realized we were in trouble with the hives. Now local beekeepers are working to bring back European bees. They're a lot less aggressive and more predictable. The European hive, if it's startled, might send out maybe 10 or 15 bees to say, hey, get away from us. If you startle an Africanized hybrid, it will send out hundreds to thousands of bees in defense of their hive. When King is called to relocate an Africanized hive, she'll replace the queen bee with a European okay. queen. This queen already has her eggs fertilized, so when she comes in, she lays European eggs that slowly replace the African ones. It helps. Yeah. Everybody it helps the bees, it helps the people, it helps the animals, and it helps the environment. If you see a hive in your backyard, you should wait two to three days before you do anything about it. And if it's still there after two to three days, then you should contact your local Southern Arizona Beekeepers Association so they can safely relocate it for you. Live in outside Perla Shaheen, KGUN 9, on your side.